In your Iowa news, nationwide, we're seeing Republicans criticize books they feel are inappropriate for minors, resulting in legislation impacting libraries, including here in Iowa. Ahead of the 2024 legislative session, State House reporter Skylar Talal talks with the Iowa Library Association about their priorities. Honoring the fact that ILA represents not only public libraries, but academic school and school libraries and small libraries and rural libraries. So our work will be trying to represent the needs and voices of the various Iowans we serve. When lawmakers head back to the state capitol, the Iowa Library Association will be looking to increase access to all, self-governance, education opportunities, and economic development. But a main priority will be intellectual freedom, ensuring Iowans are able to pick up any book they want. Free people read freely. And so your choice on what you read, my choice on what I read, everybody's choice on what they read is very important to protect. Certain books have come under fire nationwide, resulting in bills that restrict books in school libraries and in some cases, public libraries. Following those national trends, Iowa Republicans' new parental rights law bans sexually explicit books in public schools. Are there any concerns that you guys have um, ahead of next legislative session? Anything that you know, you'll kind of be keeping your eye on. We had the second most library adverse bills in the nation last year. And if it mimics where we're seeing this sort of activity take shape in other states, it will be again kind of the same in 2024. And it will focus more on public than it does school. The Iowa Library Association plans to oppose any bills that infringe on Iowans freedom to read or criminalizes librarians, educators or students for doing things that align with their librarianship values. In Des Moines, Skyler Law reporting.